all dignitaries and youngsters. Noel Pierce Coward, at your service. How very clever of Madame McCarty to conjure me back to the material plane and to marvelous Melbourne. And my dears, where can I buy a fine silk dressing gown here in Melbourne? Target! <laughs> Target, madam. No, Coward does not shop at Target. <laughs> but you've made yourself a Target now, my dear. I think we better do it, dear boy. <laughs> Mr. Irving Berlin often emphasizes sin in a charming way. Mr. Coward, we know, wrote a song or two to show sex was here to stay. That sly biological urge. But it really was Cole who contrived to make the whole thing merge. He said that Belgians and Greeks do it. Nice young men who sell antiques do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Let's do it. Let's fall in. Let's do it. Let's fall in. And we came as we were, and we stayed as we were, which was hell. <laughs> Dear Grace started singing at midnight, and didn't stop singing till four. <laughs> we knew the excitement was bound to begin, when Laura got blind on Dubonnet and gin, and scratched over there with a Gardier pin. <laughs> I couldn't have loved it more. It was recorded in a 19th century travel journal that only mad dogs and the English move about in it. Whatever do they mean? In trial clubs there are certain times of day when all the citizens retire to rob their clothes and then first fire. There is a rule that the greatest fools is obey because the sun is much too sultry and we must avoid its ultraviolet rain. Bucket like a bucket like a bucket like a boo. Bucket like a bucket like a bucket like a boo. Bucket like a bucket like a bill. Bucket like a bucket like a bucket like a boo. Well, the natives scream and the white men leave their huts because they're positively, absolutely nuts. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in midday sun. The Chinese wouldn't dare to. The Japanese don't care to. The Hindus and Argentines sleep over from twelve to one. But Englishmen detest her. See Esther. Don't put your daughter on the stage. 